power, in the name of the Heavenly Father, exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So that's talking about the nation of Israel, okay? So who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose real name is Yahweh Shai, came for our people to give repentance of sin, uh, repentance unto Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, and forgiveness of sins, okay? Right. Because who were the law, statutes, and commandments given to? I'm asking you this question. The Israelites, beautiful. Okay, now the second <coughs> message. Now the second. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah these are these are toss-ups. So. The second message is for the other heathen nations. Okay. Now the message, the message for the other heathen nations. Which one do you want to hear? Uh, we read Revelation uh, 13 and 9, or or uh, we can talk about how they're nothing. Isaiah 40. Which is, well, we need both. All right, now check this out because we we gave you one answer, which was Israelites on the first side. Now everyone outside of number one, meaning two through eighteen, these are the other heathen nations, okay, that the heavenly Father does not care about, which is the reason why they're living luxuriously, they're living deliciously, okay. When you look across the globe, most of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are on the very lowest of the total pole. But at the very highest, you have so-called white people, and then everyone else all the way down. They are profiting. They are, uh, 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 they are being bountiful, okay, in this world, okay, according to prophecy only. Okay, what you got? This is Isaiah. And and and, and, and can I know, and can I say something real quick? If you notice, everyone else is kind of just kind of listening, but there's one person specifically that's trying to drive everyone away from listening. That's why scripture says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's why number two says white man, I don't want them, eat them, okay? This word is not profitable for so-called white people or any of the rest of these other heathen nations. So while we're up here trying to teach our people, the main thing they want to do is interrupt. Go ahead, man. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me get this one for you real quick first. It's like, damn, like out of all the places to be at right now, if you don't want to listen, leave. Don't cause anyone else that's trying to listen to disturb them. That's what we talk about, man. Order. That's what this work. That's why we said the city of confusion is being brought down low. Because everything is chaos. Do what you want to do. Do what thy will. Have you heard of Aleister Crowley? Who is Aleister Crowley? I understand that. I got you, bro. We need to finish this man's point first. Yeah, yeah. This is order. That's what we're doing. Scripture says, let all things be done what? In decency and in order. That's what the scripture says. What you got? You ready? All yeah, right. yeah, what you got? Man, I gotta go back to the Joel, brother. Oh, okay. Joel, chapter two, verse one. Listen up. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mouth. What does Zion represent? Zion represents so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? That is Zion, a monument to the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. In my holy mountain, go ahead. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Go ahead. For the day of the Lord coming. Right. For it is not at hand. For the day of the Lord is coming it is not at hand. What is the day of the Lord? Go ahead. Yeah, whatever you got. Because oh, we're, going, yeah. we're going in on a message of the heathen. I just want to, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go into that now. Okay, check this out. But uh, I just wanted to go into that because you were speaking on Israel first. Right, yep, exactly. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Uh -huh. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So, oh, go ahead. And are, are counted as the small dust of the balance. So, so these other heathen nations, that was the question you asked. The first one was about the nation of Israel. The second part was about these other nations and what our message is to them. The scripture says, according to Isaiah, the 40th chapter, listen up, go ahead. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Yep. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. These nations are as a drop in a bucket, okay? Meaning, meaning what? I'm gonna get your interpretation of that. Well, well, so under, a drop, under, underneath what we have. So, so a drop in the bucket is insignificant compared 
to a whole full uh, bucket of water. A drop is insignificant. Okay, go ahead. That's right, brother. Uh, it says, yeah, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. It says, and is counted as the small dust of the balance. Now, have you ever had a balance beam like in school or whatever, right? Now, if you have a balance beam and you put any amount of dust on the balance beam, does it change? Yeah. A little bit. Now, I'm talking about, hold on, read, read it again. Yeah. I don't think they heard it. Oh, uh, yeah, it says, and are, now I'm start from the top. Behold, right, listen, listen. the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Drop in a bucket. Insignificant. Go ahead. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. The small dust of a balance doesn't change its weight. If you have grams or anything like that on, on, a, on a scale, dust doesn't equal a, a percentage. And that's these other either nations. The equation in the scriptures as it pertains to them, is judgment. That judgment is in the form of thermonuclear ICBM missiles, okay? This is gonna be the judgment of the other heathen nations, okay? Or as scripture says, the Lord has created the smith that bloweth the coals. These are the coals that the, that the Lord has, the technology of the thermonuclear ICBM missiles was created specifically. Where's that other one? Hand me that other one over there real quick. Huh? The, uh, uh, the world of, of Israel. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, I'm going to finish my point. Right, yeah. Hey, hey, you better go back to the line. So, so, so this is the oncoming destruction that's happening here, is, that is going to happen here to America. Do you think that all of these other nations have this thermonuclear ICBM missile technology just not to use it? China, Russia, Korea? They're just gonna keep it. That's what I'm saying. They're just gonna say, well, you know what? Hey, we got have another 200 million in here, bro. No, they're used for a global war that is going to occur. That's why America has its silos filled with nothing but nukes. That's why China and Russia, all of them are in a, a mock cold war. It hasn't warmed up yet. But when it does, this is going to be the judgment that was prophesied by the Heavenly Father. Okay? So that's my point. You have anything else? Just a little more. Love. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> it said, Behold, he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. Right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. What's your question, Chief? Uh, I was just wondering, do you, do you like hate white people? Or? Let's grab uh, Romans 9 and you can start at 12. Can I, can I finish? Well, 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 I thought you were through, bro. Well, you, I, I, mean, I, had you a, I had a question. Right, I mean, we, we, I mean, we can come back to you. Right, right, right. right. Well, well, let's answer that first, and then we'll come right back. Get because, I mean, hate is very important question, right? Love is promoted here in this world, but it's hate and... It's not. Oh, which haters. one? Haters. There's haters. Yeah, that's true. See? Uh -huh. that, that answers the question. There, there's haters all across the globe. Yeah, yeah. Okay? That answers the question. What you got? All right, I'm going to get, get that precept of uh, Isaiah. Oh, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. 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 We're teaching up here. Can, can you hold your peace? Okay, thank you. Everybody wants to come out here and teach all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the prophets of the Lord are out here, everybody wants to have a word to say. No, Nobody wants to say anything other than when we out here. Nobody ever wants to come out here on a, on a Tuesday, on a Thursday, on a Sunday. But while we out here, everybody got something to say. What you got, brother? Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Oh, beautiful. Another point to go back to your question, and then we're going to get the hate. Okay. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Okay. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. Of Adam, we all of all of these nations came. Okay. I'm sure everyone agrees with that, right? Meaning that everyone comes from Adam in shape, some shape, form, or fashion. Go ahead. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom thou hast chosen. Okay, who are the Lord's chosen? Uh-oh, the nation of Israel. Okay, okay. Well, 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 well hold on, there, there's more to it. Okay, because every, everybody, everybody's not gonna make it from the nation of Israel on this side. But go ahead. All this 
have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So, so the reason why it's significant that the brothers reading this verse is because Adam, from Adam came all these nations, the nation of Israel, and all the rest of these other heathen nations. But the scripture says the, the earth was made for our sakes. Go ahead. And as for the other people. Uh oh, as for the other people. Which also came of Adam. Which also came of Adam. We agreed that both sides came from Adam. What is it gonna say about the, uh, the other people? Go ahead. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Who? <laughs> Thou hast said that they are nothing. Thou hast said that they, the other nations, are nothing. That's the reason why we read in Isaiah the 40th chapter, a drop in the bucket and the dust in the balance. It's insignificant. These other heathen nations were only created to be in servitude in our kingdom. Just like in the same way that majority of the rest of these three through 18, they serve so-called white people. So-called white people are at the very top, the echelon was it of this society. Okay, who created government? Who created this stolen land? I mean, no, no, hold on, hold on. I understand, I understand, right, you may look at it as an opportunity in which you should, okay? But it's called colonization, okay? It's called theft, robbery, murder, bloodshed. Now, of course, the reason why you look at it that way is because one of the gifts of Esau, one of the gifts of Esau is the gift of the sword. Okay? That's why you see this big sword right here. The modern day sword today is the weapon or the gun. Okay, Without that gun or weapon, you all are useless. And I'm not saying you specifically, I'm talking about your people. And you're gonna see that when the Heavenly Father returns. But technically, aren't you and I the same, on the same level? Of course not. Well, in what way? First of all, let's start over. Yeah, 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 hold on, stop, stop, stop. This is in order. Let the man speak. Well, I know, so, to so, so you can't you can't clarify for somebody else, bro. I'm telling you right now, the difference between us is we are the children of Israel. What the brother had just read in Second Ezra, six chapter, in the 56th verse. Okay, and you all are the other heathen nations, meaning we were created separately from the same source, which is spiritual, that two people can be born from the same womb and be completely different. Completely. If we go shoot basketball right now, whoop your ass. No offense. No, no, no offense. Stop. Hey, no, 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 no. The reason why I'm making this example is because scripture says that we are the salt of the earth. When you think about food, when you think, when you think about food, when you think about music, when you think about anything that's inventive, you think about our people. Okay? When you think about torture, I mean all of this food and culture comes from us. Now, what culture do so-called white people have? Uh, it, it, no, 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 one person, can vary. Hold on, one person. It can vary. Just, I mean, I'm just saying, what is your culture? Wait, can we actually go play basketball? Can I enter? Go ahead. And, and like, in what context are you referring to? Culture. Culture. What is, what is yours? Culture what is yours specifically? That meaning that you did not steal and take from anyone else. What is your origin? What can you say that is supremely so-called white people's only? Not exactly. Have, we have the same opportunity. Right here, bro. Right here, bro. But then I'm confused. That was the end. No, no, that was the perfect answer. No, no, no. But listen, I'm confused. Hey, he said saltine. On what? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, this is right. right. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I'm confused on why you think we have different levels here if it's you okay. and I are both given the same opportunity. Well, hold on. We're, we're talking spiritual. Also, yeah. We're talking spiritual. So, so before the womb, that's why I want to hold it. Uh, Romans 9 and 13. So, um, because we're gonna answer this question. Yes, go ahead. But I still ain't finished. What? Oh, oh, no, you, oh, you still? No, you got some. It's a lot, it's a lot. All right, it's, a, it's some more on that one. It's a lot, go ahead. The second Ezra chapter six, verse 56. Okay. As for the other people, which okay. also came of Adam. As for the, the other people that also came from Adam, go ahead. Though it said they are nothing. They are nothing. But be like unto spittle. Right, but be like unto spittle. And you, you all know what spittle is? Spittle is like when you're talking to somebody and that little bit of fragment that flies out that you barely see and you hope the other person didn't see, that's spittle, right? So that's what the Lord is comparing all the rest of these other nations to. Spittle, 
Oh, did I see that? Oh, no, I didn't see that. No, it's insignificant. Where, where, where would you be able to, to be able to, to live? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, okay. let's finish this first and then we'll get back. Because right. I, I still got you. Hey, you guys are being patient, man. Hey, you yeah. see how things are done in decency and order, man? Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So, if you're carrying a pail of water, right, and maybe you're taking it from point A to point B, maybe it's 20 miles, whatever. Are you concerned about that drop that fell out of the bucket on the, on the, on the floor? If you're carrying a whole pail of water? No, right? You're, you're concerned about the, the most that's in there. You're not concerned about the drop that fell. That's what the Lord is, is saying. These people are drops of a bucket or drop out of a bucket. So, so we right, it is a lot of people. It is a lot of people. I'm so glad you said that. Because two thirds of our own people, the Lord is gonna kill. How about that? Meaning that even if you're on this side, you're not safe. Right, exactly. Exactly. So the point being here is this. Is there more on that? Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna make one more point. I'm gonna let the brother read. Two thirds of our own people are gonna die in this upcoming day of judgment. Yeah. That means only one third of the whole population of the nation of Israel is gonna be saved. But nobody on this side from two through 18 will survive. Nobody. Go ahead. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been, you know, which have ever been re reputed, reputed right. as nothing, uh -huh. have begun to be lords over us. Right, they began to be lords over us because through colonization, what we are talking about, the conquering of Alexander the Greek, the Romans, all of those colonizations, all the way up to this point now, okay, of the American quote unquote government, which is really a corporation, okay, they have become to be lords over us, the nation of Israel. <laughs> and to devour us. And to devour us, okay? Through all these wicked ass penal codes, through taxation, okay? Through pollution of the air, the water, the food. You're not reading, eating real food. There was no such thing as GMOs, right? Non-GMO food. 20 years ago, you didn't have that. Well, how is it that the food now has genetically modified organisms in it? Possible Who put genetically modified organisms in all food? So do you hate us? Go ahead. Bro, we, but, we're going to get to that. Go ahead. But we thy people, listen, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, mm -hmm. thy only begotten, right, and thy fervent lover, right, uh, are given into their hands. So the Lord has one specific group of people that he loves. And the Lord has another group of people that he does not love, okay, at all. This is the truth that you haven't heard before, okay? That new song. That new song. What you got? This is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. All right, here's your answer, bro. You listening? This is one of your answers, okay? Because we had talked about what? The nation of Israel, and we had talked about the other nations. Now we're going to talk about Jacob and Esau, because both of those signify the two greatest nations on the face of this earth. I'm not talking about nation as far as a country or a continent. I'm talking about nations of people, okay? Go ahead. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Uh-huh. As it, yeah. As it is written. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, 13. there we go. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Now, why is it significant that we're talking about Jacob and Esau? Because Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white people. Do you know what progenitor means? Okay, progenitor means that they, they started that lineage, okay? That, this is one of your forefathers. When you read Esau in the Bible, Esau is one of your forefathers. Cain is another one of your forefathers. So when it's talks about Cain kill Abel, that is your lineage, so-called white people. But it said, Jacob, you holding that still? It said, Jacob, now Jacob is the progenitor, going back to that word, pro means before, G means seed line, and to continue, okay? The progenitor, Jacob, okay, the 12 tribes of Israel. It says that Jacob's name was turned to Israel after wrestling with an angel, okay? Because basically he said, look, you're going to give me a blessing, okay? Um, and through that blessing, his name was turned to Israel. Now, what does the name Israel mean in Hebrew? 
Anybody want to take a wild guess? Plug it up. Okay. 